Let's have a look at the sketch tab. The tools in this tab allow us to design our project in a schematic way. The toolbar specific to the sketch tab is composed of three groups. References, Drawing and Edit. The reference tools allow us to generate grids and enter lines and arcs. These reference options support the drawing of our models and diagrams. All the references are entered with a pink dotted line by default. Furthermore, they are only visible on the SIPE architecture program and are not exported to the BIM Server Center platform. From the Grids button, we will create a grid on which we will draw the building, taking into consideration a certain modulation. We can also define the different parameters of the grid, such as its position, orientation and display options. If we wish to enter references individually, we can use the line and arc buttons. These references, unlike the grids, can be edited with the tools in the edit group, which include copy, delete, move and copy of symmetry. In the drawing group, we find tools normally used for the architectural conception of the building. both from the perspective of defining volumes according to their form and uses, as well as from floor plan layouts. We use the different tools to enter lines, arcs, rectangles, circles, ellipses, polygons and inscribed polygons. To generate a surface, we must close a group of coplanar lines. We can divide an existing surface by drawing a line through it. All surfaces modelled in the sketch tab can be assigned a colour and a label, using the corresponding options. Finally, the edit group allows us to extrude, offset, copy, move and rotate, amongst other options. All the elements created in the sketch tab are exported to the BIM Server Center platform in an individual three-dimensional model. It can be viewed on the platform itself, in other project tools or in augmented reality using BIM Server Center AR.